good morning children now in the last class i have finished the grammar portion of earth day carol hope all have copied it correctly and studied also now we move on to the next chapter that is the poem a fine day now we start the poem a fine day written by catherine mansfield after all the rain the sun shines on the hill and grassy mead fly into the garden child you are very glad indeed that is after all the rain the sun starts shining on the hilly side and grassy mead grassy mead is the grassy field fly into the garden child you are very glad indeed the poet is telling go out into the garden you will be very happy to play outside in the garden after the rainy season is over after raining for many many days now the sun has started shining and all are happy now the children are able to go outside and play the birds are chirping happily because they are also able to come out for the days have been so dull oh so special dark and drear that you told me mr sun has forgotten we live here now what is special dark and drear that means especially depressing and dull that is it has been raining for many many days together the sun was not shining at all the sun did not come out at all because it was raining so the poet is telling to the speaker that the sun has forgotten that we people are living here on the earth because the sun is not coming out so i think the sun has forgotten that we are living here because it has been only raining 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 for many days together on the lilac tree a bird singing first a little note then a burst of happy song bubbles in his lifted throat now lilac tree is a flowering tree found in europe and north america that's the picture of the lilac tree that you can see in the poem and you can see one small bird sitting on the branch of a tree and what is it doing children it is trying to sing a little song singing first a little note then a burst of happy song bubbles in his lifted throat so first a small note of music comes from its mouth isn't it from its throat then it is bursting into a happy song because the sun is shining brightly and it is very happy now it can fly about get enough food to eat oh the sun the comfy sun comfy means comfortable this is the song that you must sing thank you for the birds the flowers thank you sun for everything so the poet is telling you must thank the sun to the child you must thank the sun for coming out for shining also and because the sun is shining the birds have come out all the flowers are in full bloom you can see the picture the flowers are in full bloom on the trees you can see the bird you can see the sun the child is happy yes she is out in the garden coming out to play so thank you for the birds the flowers the sun and for everything so it's a small poem after all the rain the sun shines on the hill and grassy mead that is after a long time of rain you feel very sad and depressing very dull isn't it to sit at home sit inside your house because you are not allowed to go out and play in the rain your parents will scold you isn't it you will fall sick so after many days of rain the children all the not only the children even the birds they are feeling very dull and depressed because they are not able to go out to catch food isn't it even the flowers the flowers all have been dried yes so now when the sun was sorry when the sun starts shining all are happy the weather is very good the climate is very good isn't it so we feel happy the children are now able to go out and play isn't it so that is the summary of the poem now we move on to the exercise understanding the poem a the poem has four verses match the pictures to the verses write first second third or fourth so the poem has got four stanzas or four paragraphs isn't it four verses are there now we have to match the picture according to the correct verse now in the first picture 
which will be the matching verse for the first picture see the dark clouds there that shows it is raining so in the first picture the matching verse is the second verse for the days have been so dull that is rainy day isn't it rainy season then the second picture you can see the sun is shining only the sun coming out so that is in the number four fourth verse now the third picture the girl and the tree the girl going out that comes in the first verse the poet is telling the girl fly into the garden child come out into the garden go out into the garden to play so the third picture the matching verse is the first verse and the fourth picture you can see the lilac tree and the bird on the tree singing so that is the third verse the matching verse is the third verse for the fourth picture now answer these questions why are the speaker and the child so happy that is after so many days of rain this uh, the child the birds they were not able to go out isn't it so now when the sun has come out or when the sun has started shining they are very happy now where is the speaker asking the child to go where is the speaker asking the child to go the speaker is asking the child to go out into the garden to play what made the child think that the sun had forgotten that they lived there so why did the child think that the sun had forgotten that they were living there because for continuous many days it has been raining no it had been raining for many days together every day early in the morning till evening till night it is raining not even one speck of sunlight is coming out isn't it so that is why those days the child thought because it was continuously raining the child thought that the sun has forgotten that we are living here that is what the girls thinking for whom does his refer to in the line bubbles in his lifted throat you remember the bird is trying to sing a song at first only a very small note comes out note of music comes from its throat and then suddenly when the sun shines brightly it is very happy and its happiness comes out in the form of song bubbles are coming out from his throat when he is bird when the bird starts singing haven't you heard the birds chirping on the trees early in the morning they are very happy five what is the speaker asking the child to thank the sun for now the speaker is asking the child to thank the sun the birds the flowers for everything because the sun is shining brightly all are happy isn't it the children are able to go out the birds are able to come out the flowers are in full bloom just like the spring season isn't it now i'll be sending you all the picture of all this now exercise c when the speaker in the poem says fly into the garden child she is asking the child to run out into the garden tick the words that mean the same as run you may use a dictionary so in the first answer we have heard isn't it the speaker is telling the child fly into the garden child that means she is asking the child to run out into the garden so many words are given there in that clouds and from that you have to find out pick out five words which have got the same meaning as run so the first one sprint sprint means run race that is also same meaning as run jog that is also got the same meaning bolt and trot those are the five words sprint race jog bolt and trot now exercise d in the poem the word comfy has been used to mean comfortable they have given the short form comfortable is a quite a long word isn't it so the short form they have given in the poem that is comfy now match these informal words to their formal meanings so just in the same way roomy roomy means room mate the matching word for roomy is room mate room mate is the big word the short form is roomy 
second one goalie that means goalkeeper goalkeeper the short form is goalie third one hanky that is handkerchief handkerchief short form is hanky four pics that is pictures pictures short form pics then five new buy new buy means newcomer newcomer the short form new buy sixth one cabby that is cab driver cab driver you can use the short form cabby so read the poem well children and i want you all to study the first eight lines yes first eight eight lines of the poem you can study each day you study two two lines that is enough and study all the meanings given there all the new words given there i will be sending you all the picture of all these answers and exercise copy it correctly and study thank you